Good evening, YouTube fam. How's everyone doing? Now, tonight, I'm showing you my number one, Jordan 5. Now, no doubt you obviously know what it is. This is the 2013 Fire Red Black Tongue. Now, this is uh, my third pair. Uh, I had the uh, 2006 pair, which I ran into the ground. Um, I had the 2013 pair. And this was actually, I bought this early last year when the uh, Silver Tongue uh, released. I just wasn't keen on it. Uh, my missus got a pair, but I decided to go back and buy another pair of these. I say because my 2013 pair were trashed as well because I used to wear them all the time. So this this has always been uh, a favourite of mine. Probably, oh, it's probably up there as one of my uh, favourite Jordans of all time. Let's say the uh, the fives are my favourite silhouette, uh, along with the threes, and now the uh, the sevens. Like you saw my video on the uh, uh, the Jordan Seven Citrus. Let's say that was a grail of mine. That's up there, but. This probably takes top spot. It's got to be, it's got to be up there. Top top three Jordan shoes of all time for me. Now, obviously, uh, because of the time it was done, the materials went all that. I mean, it, it it is a full grain leather, but it's not a really thick cut, and it's got that that sheen over it, that shine. If you know what I mean. It's blinding with the light on. Uh, I forget the name of it. What what they do to to put over over the the lever? Well, you can't really see me pressing because I've got it stuffed out at the minute. But yeah, this just pops more, pops more than the uh, the silver tongue in my opinion. And for one, it's got the twenty three on the side, which isn't a must, but I prefer it on my fives. Let's say the uh, the Jordan Five uh, Wolf Greys. They're another favourite of mine. They've got the twenty three on the side. Uh, the Laneys. They've got the twenty three on the side. Uh, what else have I got? Well, the twenty three on the side. I can't think. I'm sure I've got another one or two. Can't think off the top of my head. The black tongue, I prefer these. Oh, let's say I don't mind the uh, the reflective tongues. I don't mind them at all. Let's say you know. But these, I prefer these tongues. I like a nice, uh, thickly padded tongue. And the tongue's quite high up on these as well. Although it don't look it in the minute, but it is. Like I said in uh, my other video on the lane, is I've had fives before where the tongue's been down here. It shouldn't be like that. Should get a nice high tongue. Jump man, obviously on the back. <clears throat> I don't mind uh, the jump man. Like I say, when I got into uh, kicks uh, in the uh, late eighties, early nineties, I mean they were just they were known. Even though it was Jordan shoe, there was known as Nike shoes back then. And uh, a lot of people my age, they prefer it when the Nike Air's on the back because it's just how it was when they were kids. But I really don't mind it. I mean, obviously, if they uh, release this again with the Nike Air on the back, then I'm all for it. I'll get it, but it doesn't bother me either way. Yeah, the midsole. I think the midsole pops more on these as well uh, than the uh, the silver uh on them, the on the silver tongue, the midsoles, uh, black into it, and the uh, the shark teeth, yeah, are red. I wear these all the time, along with the uh, the sevens. Uh, I probably wear this more than uh, than any other shoe. Uh, well, I say the guy who I got these off, he he's he'd obviously had them for a good seven years. So uh, at least the netting's uh, nice and icy still, but 
the bottom's starting to go uh, yellow, especially here, but it can't be helped. But the summer months are almost here, so I'll, uh, I'll maybe get that Salon K40 on them and get them out in the sun. But yeah, I'll definitely get an on feet done for you tomorrow. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of these. I mean, no doubt you've probably got them yourself. I mean, I, I don't recall it being a, uh, a limited release. But yeah, I'll get them again. What I wouldn't mind doing is going back and getting... Uh, I, I wish I'd have uh, kept the 2006 pair and maybe done a, a sold swap on them or something like that. Because that's what I'm going to start and do. There's some kicks that I want that come out years ago, uh, especially with the 7s. I'm talking like the originals from 92 and some uh, 2002 uh, releases when they started retroing them again. I'm, uh, I just want to go back and, uh, and start getting them. Let's say the uh, new shoes, is, the, the quality is just not there, not compared to how it used to be. So I'd rather just uh, spend my money on getting some of the older pairs. So yeah, that'll do, you know. Look out for the on feet tomorrow. I'm out.